Imagine being responsible for the deaths of millions all by accident. This isn't a horror movie plot, but the unfortunate reality for one man in history. The story we're about to delve into is not that of a notorious dictator or a ruthless warlord, but of an ordinary man whose invention had unforeseen and catastrophic consequences. Picture the scene. It's the early 20th century, a time of great advancements and inventions. Our protagonist, a man of science, is on the brink of a discovery that promises to revolutionize the world to make life easier and more comfortable for millions. Little does he know, his well-intentioned invention will inadvertently lead to an environmental disaster on a global scale. His name and story have been lost in the annals of history, overshadowed by the tales of infamy and glory that we're more familiar with. But today, we shine a light on this forgotten figure, a man whose life was turned upside down by the very thing he created to better the world. It's a tale of irony, of good intentions gone awry, a stark reminder that every action, no matter how well-meaning, can have far-reaching consequences. It's a story that compels us to question the very nature of progress, to ponder the thin line that separates a boon from a curse. And so we embark on this journey, a journey back in time to uncover the life and legacy of this unintentional killer. It's a journey that will take us through the annals of scientific discovery through the corridors of power and into the heart of one man's life-altering invention. Stay with us as we unravel the tale of the man who accidentally killed the most people in history. Before we dive into the dark pages of history, let's understand who this man was. Born in the late 19th century in a small town in Pennsylvania, Thomas Midgley Jr. was a man of curiosity and innovation from an early age. Raised in a family that valued education, his father was an inventor himself, which undoubtedly played a part in shaping Midgley's future. As a young boy, he showed an interest in the sciences, particularly in the field of mechanical engineering. This passion didn't wane as he grew older. Instead, it became the driving force that led him to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering at Cornell University. Following his graduation, Midgley began his career as a draftsman at a small engineering firm. However, his talent and ambition couldn't be contained within the confines of drafting blueprints. His fascination with chemistry led him to delve deeper into the world of compounds and elements, combining his knowledge of mechanics and chemistry to create something new and innovative. In the early part of the 20th century, Midley started working as a research engineer at General Motors. There, he was given the freedom to explore and experiment, a freedom that led to the creation of groundbreaking inventions that were hailed as triumphs of science and technology at the time. It was at General Motors that Midgley began to make his mark in the world. His contributions to the automotive industry were revolutionary, improving engine performance and fuel efficiency. But as we all know, with great power comes great responsibility. And it was here that the seeds of his destructive legacy were unknowingly sown. Little did he know his inventions would have far-reaching and devastating implications. Midgley's first major discovery was both a breakthrough and a disaster. Imagine being at the forefront of science, making a discovery that would change the world. That was Thomas Midgley Jr. in the early 20th century. He was a mechanical engineer and chemist, and his first major invention was tetrethyl lead, an additive for gasoline. At the time, cars were a relatively new invention, and they had a problem called engine knocking. This was a noisy and damaging condition caused by the premature ignition of fuel in an internal combustion engine. Midgley, always the problem solver, discovered that adding a small amount of lead to gasoline could eliminate this knocking problem. His discovery was hailed as a breakthrough and leaded gasoline became the standard for many decades. But here's where the story takes a dark turn. While leaded gasoline was a success in terms of solving the engine knocking problem, it had a significant downside. The lead in the gasoline was released into the air as cars burned fuel. And we now know that exposure to lead, even in small amounts, can have devastating health effects. Lead is a neurotoxin, meaning it's poisonous to the nervous system. It can cause a range of health problems, from learning disabilities and behavioral issues in children, to high blood pressure and heart disease in adults. It's estimated that millions of people around the world were exposed to lead from gasoline before it was finally phased out. The damage done is incalculable and irreversible, and all because of a well-intentioned discovery 
by a brilliant yet ultimately misguided scientist. But this was just the beginning of Midgley's unfortunate legacy. In our next scene, we'll delve into another of Midgley's inventions, one that would have an even greater impact on our planet. Midgley's second major invention would impact not just humans, but the environment as a whole. This invention was none other than chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, as they are commonly known. Midgley was determined to solve a problem that had been plaguing the world of refrigeration. Traditional refrigerants, such as ammonia, were highly toxic and extremely dangerous if leaked. Midgley sought a safer alternative, and his answer was CFCs. These compounds were stable, non-toxic and non-flammable, making them a perfect solution for refrigeration and air conditioning systems. CFCs were hailed as a marvel of modern chemistry. They were widely used in a variety of applications, from aerosol propellants to the production of foamed plastics. Their use became so pervasive that by the mid-20th century, they were being produced in staggering quantities. However, as their use increased, so did their detrimental impact on the environment. Unbeknownst to Midgley and the world, CFCs had a dark side. When released into the atmosphere, they slowly rose to the stratosphere, where they were broken down by solar radiation, releasing chlorine atoms. These chlorine atoms were capable of catalyzing a reaction that destroyed ozone, a molecule that plays a crucial role in shielding the Earth from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. The consequences of this were far-reaching. The depletion of the ozone layer led to what is now known as the ozone hole, a phenomenon that scientists first observed in the 1980s over Antarctica. This discovery sparked a global environmental crisis, leading to the Montreal Protocol in 1987, an international treaty designed to phase out the production of substances that deplete the ozone layer. Midley's inventions were now not just a public health concern, but an environmental crisis. His work, though initially celebrated, had unforeseen and dramatic consequences. The very compounds he had invented to improve the safety and comfort of everyday life had become a threat to life on Earth itself. Though the impacts of Midgley's inventions were far and wide, his intention was to solve problems, but the solutions he found set off a chain of disasters that stretched across the globe. The lead additive he introduced to gasoline became a ubiquitous part of the 20th century. It was used in virtually every car, on every road, in every city and corner of the world. The lead didn't stay in the engines, though. It was expelled in exhaust fumes, contaminating the air we breathe. As the lead particles settled, they poisoned our soil and water. The consequences were severe, with lead poisoning leading to health issues such as developmental delays in children, kidney problems and even death. But the damage didn't stop there. Midgley's second invention, the chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs, were initially hailed as a miracle chemical. They were used in everything from refrigerators to aerosol cans, and for a while everything seemed fine. But over time, these CFCs began to accumulate in our atmosphere, rising all the way up to the stratosphere where they started to erode our precious ozone layer. Without the ozone layer, our planet becomes vulnerable to the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. Increased exposure to these rays can lead to skin cancer and cataracts in humans, and can harm the life cycle of phytoplankton, the base of the ocean food chain. The irony is that Midgley didn't set out to harm the world. He was a problem solver, a brilliant scientist and an inventor. But his inventions, designed to make life better, ended up causing harm on a global scale. His name will forever be linked to two of the most significant environmental crises of the 20th century, lead poisoning and ozone layer depletion. The man had unknowingly become a mass killer. His story serves as a stark reminder of the unintended consequences of our actions. It's a reminder to tread carefully, to consider the long-term effects of our inventions and innovations, and to strive for solutions that don't just solve one problem, but also ensure the well-being of our planet and future generations. Ironically, Midgley's own end was as tragic as the impacts of his inventions. Thomas Midgley Jr. was a man of innovation, a man of science, but he was also a man who unknowingly became his own worst enemy. Having spent a majority of his career working with Lead, it wasn't long before the heavy metal took its toll on his health. He was diagnosed with lead poisoning, a cruel twist of fate for a man whose work with this very element 
had caused untold harm to the environment. As his health deteriorated, Midgley, ever the inventor, decided to use his ingenuity to help him navigate the challenges of his failing health. He designed a complex system of strings and pulleys to help him move around his home. This invention intended to aid his disability turned out to be another tragic misstep in his life. One fateful day in November of 1944, Midgley became entangled in the ropes of his own device. Unable to free himself, he was tragically strangled by the very invention he had crafted to assist him. It was a heart-rending end for a man who had lived his life on the cutting edge of scientific discovery, only to be undone by his own creations. The irony of Midgley's life is hard to ignore. A man who had spent his career creating, innovating and pushing the boundaries of what was possible found himself ensnared by his own inventions. His life, much like the impacts of his creations, serves as a cautionary tale about the unintended consequences of our actions. His legacy, however, is a complex one. On one hand, he was a brilliant scientist who made significant contributions to the field of chemistry. On the other hand, his inventions caused considerable damage to our planet and his own life. A tragic end to a man whose inventions had caused worldwide havoc. Midgley's legacy is a complex one. A man of great intellect, his inventions transformed industries and modern life. Yet they also unleashed environmental disasters that we're still grappling with today. His work with lead in petrol resulted in countless cases of lead poisoning, an issue that took decades to fully understand and address. It was a lesson in the danger of unleashing new technologies without fully understanding their potential impacts. And then there's the invention of chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs. These compounds seemed like the perfect solution for refrigeration and air conditioning. They were safe, non-flammable and effective, but they had a dark side. Once released into the atmosphere, they contributed to the depletion of the ozone layer, a shield that protects us from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. The discovery of the ozone hole over Antarctica in the 1980s was a wake-up call for the world. It led to the Montreal Protocol in 1987, a landmark international agreement to phase out the production of CFCs and other ozone-depleting substances. Midgley's inventions taught us that scientific advancements, while often beneficial, can also carry significant risks. They highlighted the need for thorough research, careful consideration and precautionary measures when introducing new technologies. His legacy also underscores the importance of international cooperation in addressing global environmental challenges. The Montreal Protocol stands as a testament to what we can achieve when nations come together to protect our planet. Today, efforts to restore the ozone layer are showing promising results, but the work is far from over. We're still dealing with the aftermath of lead pollution and the fight against climate change continues. Midley's tale serves as a stark reminder of the unintended consequences of scientific progress. As we forge ahead, let's take these lessons to heart, ensuring that our pursuit of innovation always goes hand in hand with the preservation of our planet. The tale of Thomas Midley Jr. is a potent mix of innovation, disaster and irony. This statement alone encapsulates the life of one of the most consequential figures in human history. An individual whose genius and creativity inadvertently led to catastrophic environmental and health effects. We've journeyed through Midgley's life, from his humble beginnings to his groundbreaking discoveries in the realm of chemistry. We've seen how his invention of leaded gasoline and chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, was initially hailed as a triumph of human ingenuity. We've also seen how these very same creations spiralled into catalysts for global devastation, contributing to the lead poisoning of countless individuals and the thinning of our planet's essential ozone layer. The stark irony of Midgley's life is impossible to ignore. Here was a man dedicated to advancing the cause of science and improving the world through his inventions. Yet his work ultimately led to widespread destruction and disease. His story serves as a stark reminder of how the quest for progress, without careful consideration of potential consequences, can lead to disaster. Moreover, Midgley's life underscores the importance of ethical responsibility in scientific innovation. It is incumbent upon us all, particularly those in fields of research and development, to ensure our actions today do not compromise the health and well-being of future generations. 
As we reflect on the impact of Midgley's inventions, one can't help but ponder the profound implications of his work. His story, filled with both brilliance and tragedy, teaches us that every innovation, no matter how seemingly beneficial, carries the potential for unforeseen consequences. It's a lesson we must bear in mind as we continue to push the boundaries of science and technology. In the end, the man who accidentally killed the most people in history was a victim of his own invention. A chilling end to a life that started with such promise. As we marvel at the power of human ingenuity, let's also remember the cautionary tale of Thomas Midgley Jr., a tale of innovation, disaster and bitter irony. This tale of unintended catastrophe is a reminder of the importance of responsible innovation. It's a story that stirs reflection on the ripple effects of our actions and the weight of our decisions. As we navigate through life, let's remember to tread lightly, to ask the right questions, to challenge the status quo and to always strive for a deeper understanding. We invite you to share this story with your friends, your families, your classmates and your colleagues. Let this be a conversation starter, a catalyst for change, a spark to ignite curiosity and innovation. If you're fascinated by such intriguing stories and want to dive deeper into the unknown, the unexpected and the utterly fascinating, do consider subscribing to our channel. We promise to keep you engaged with content that expands your horizons, challenges your perceptions and enriches your understanding of the world. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to never miss our videos. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.